Hello again, this is Dave from Bullpen Cycles. Here we are in Edgewater, Florida with another stash of motorcycles from our secret places around the country and another episode of Guess What's in the Trailer. As always, here's your hint. Oh, oh that's a little too much of a hint. I'll tell you what, the first one is an American manufacturer from New England. But it's not Harley Davidson and it's not Indian. Hmm. The second one, that is a Harley Davidson. It's European, but it's not Italian. It's English. An English Harley Davidson. And the third one, well, it's from a company that first manufactured vehicles and equipment for disabled people but not motorcycles motorcycles was its side business hmm those are your three hints but there's four bikes in there what's the fourth one the fourth one is an easy hint malcolm smith made them famous but there's a double hint in that because there's actually two brands in here that Malcolm Smith made famous. So let's see what's in our trailer. This is what we always hoped that nothing fell over in the long trip, like the straps didn't go. So always a surprise when you open up. I haven't had anything fall over in years, but it happened. I use four straps now. Two in the front, two in the back. Anyway, everything managed to get here safely. Alright, the first one, the brand that Malcolm Smith made famous, easy one if you watch on any Sunday, Husqvarna. Coming out with the 250 mag, mag for magnesium cases. The engine cases were all magnesium for extra lightweight. Get you a better shot. 250 CR. I don't know the year exactly. Probably 73 or 4. Looks like the wrong fenders, wrong handlebars. But otherwise, a very nice, complete bike. Original pipe. Wheels aren't all messed up. Original paint. We got vintage racing this weekend. Maybe I'll have a chance to get it going. That was one. One of the two brands that Malcolm Smith made famous. But there's one more. Let's see what that is. Get this bad boy out of the way. This one has no stand, so we're going to put it up over here. This is a Greaves MX-4, also known as a Challenger, 340, no, 360 cc's, two-stroke. Uh, Greaves is an English company. 
what Malcolm Smith rode before he uh, went on with Husqvarna. This bike is really weird. First of all, check this big heavy aluminum front down tube. Well, I think it's aluminum, maybe it's not aluminum. But they call that an I-beam. Twin ports on a single cylinder, two stroke. Check out that giant finned cylinder. What's also weird is it's pre-unit, separate transmission from engine. Look at those wild front forks. Now you'd think this would be a horrible bike to ride. 19 inch front wheel instead of a 21. That really wouldn't work in any of today's motocross tracks. Looks very heavy. I have no idea. But they say they handle really well. And they were good for its time. We'll find out. Well, that's the Greaves. So uh, this was the hint was company that got its start making uh, accessible vehicles for disabled people. And uh, they decided to branch out into motorcycles because the, the owner was a enthusiast. I think his name was Bert Greaves. But that's not all. What was the other question? Oh yeah, a Harley Davidson from Europe that wasn't Italian. Hmm, what could that be? Here we go. This is an MT350. Military dual sport. They made a 350 and a 500. The 350s were electric start. The majority of the 500s were kick only. These were made originally by a company called Armstrong in England. They were used by NATO forces. They were never used by American forces. Harley bought Armstrong and continued to make them. Oh, I think into the early 2000s. So I think the run was from the mid 90s on up, maybe earlier. It's got a Rotax motor. The frame, I understand, is SWM, which was Italian. SWM is back again, by the way. Um, the Galia gauges. And I think these were actually made here stateside, but I'm not 100% certain. Um, some knucklehead put a radio and speakers into the ammo cans, which was dumb. Have to fix that or patch it or replace it. The ammo cans are lockable, but they don't lock to the bike, which is kind of weird. This is titled, fully road legal. Unfortunately, you won't get your AR-15 in that. Although I suspect they make one that would fit in. NATO used a Steyr bullpup type weapon. And that's why this is so short. But it is a Harley. And it isn't. Take that sucker out to Ocala and see how that runs in the trails for you. Next one I said is from a company in New England. I'll give you a better hint, New Hampshire. American motorcycle manufacturer from New Hampshire. 
Still in existence today, but they don't make anything like this. It's a Rokon RT340. You might have heard of Rokon for their trail model, the two wheel drive that they make. I think it's called a trail breaker or something like that. This is not that, this is one wheel drive. It's basically a Saks snowmobile engine, full start, wound up to a continuously variable snowmobile style transmission. Everybody, when they park them, they always break the chain because otherwise you're pushing it. You're pushing the secondary clutch and the transmission. Magnesium mag wheels. Some of them had 19s. This is a, a I mean, some had 21s. This is 19 in the front. These were actually streetable. Now with that transmission, you didn't get any engine braking. So you got front and rear disc brakes to make up for it. These look heavy, but they were actually fairly competitive. I think they won a couple national enduros with this. They made an MX model. We have one of those here in bullpen cycle as well. And that's it for this episode of what's in the trailer when we get these suckers fired up we'll have more videos for you okay folks it's dave i'm back i have a special bonus what's in the trailer for you today this is one extra for the four we did this morning let's see hmm okay arctic cat had a snowmobile model with the same name there's your hint what can it be? On another hand, think Spanish. Here we have a Botaco El Tigre. Now, the El Tigre was a sister to the Mark II Matrella. Five speed, 250 cc. These were hot little bikes. Just a, just a fraction of a second slower than a Triumph 650. Now, model 23 is the same of the Matrella but the T is for the El Tigre. Thank you. We'll get this guy going for you. One of our upcoming videos. And that's your special bonus edition of What's in the Trailer.